Basic Tool Operations MicroStation contains a variety of placement tools. These are meant to accommodate different requirements when working with design geometry. Regardless of the active tool, the same basic principles of tool operation may be applied. In this lesson, you will explore basic tool operation. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn Zoom in Basic mouse functions View tool settings View attributes Access the right-click context menu Reference file exchange Place smart line Let's begin by opening the proposed site plan. This is located in the folder MS Basics Civil DGN 03 using general tools. The ribbon style interface of the MicroStation Connect Edition can be seen. Observe the geometry displayed in view number one. View windows help you make the most of your system. View windows are where you view the geometry of your design. MicroStation provides support for using up to eight views simultaneously. You can configure and save the view window arrangement for maximum efficiency, taking into account your system, your project, and your working style. From the view tools along the edge of the view window, pick Zoom In and observe the tool settings window. Here, set the zoom ratio to 5.0. From the keyboard, press the Tab key to apply the new value. Observe the change to the zoom window that is attached to the cursor. The window has resized to match the value of the zoom ratio. Each time a zoom is performed, the window will zoom in making the geometry that is displayed in the view five times larger. Take note, it is considered a best practice to change the tab key after inputting the last change value in dialogs and the tool settings window. This typically applies the change without initiating an action allowing modification to other settings to be made as required. Next, zoom in to the location shown here by placing a data point near the point you wish to zoom in. This is the location where a building will be located on the proposed site development. Press reset or right click to stop the zoom command, returning to the previous tool. MicroStation contains the following basic mouse functions. The left mouse button is referred to the data button. It is used to provide input and select elements and commands. It is known as entering a data point. The right mouse button, or reset. This will cancel or complete an operation. A right left button cord, also known as tentative, this is used to provide tentative snap points. The right button press and hold, this will access the context menu. Hint, through preferences accessed from the backstage, the functions of the mouse may be defined to suit your needs. As was just seen, MicroStation typically follows a three-step process when using a command, sometimes referred to as the three-step rule. The basic three-step rule is this. Step one, pick the command. Step two, adjust the settings. Step three, follow the prompt. From the Home tab, in the Placement Ribbon group, pick Smart Line. Observe the tool settings. The available settings shown in the tool settings will vary based upon the specific tool chosen. From the Annotate Ribbon tab in the Patterns Ribbon group, pick Hatch Area. Again, observe the tool settings. It may be necessary to expand the tool settings window to view all available settings, and these settings may vary based upon the placement method chosen. From View Attributes, set the display style to Wireframe. View Attributes allow you to enable or disable the display of a variety of different features. Take note, a display style is a predefined collection of display overrides and settings that can change the appearance of design graphics without modifying the original elements. 
Go ahead now and save settings. Next, we are going to adjust the view attributes. In the view attributes dialog, turn off the display of text and dimensions. Observe the update in the view window. Text and dimensions are no longer visible. This provides for a simpler, less cluttered display of geometry. Take note, the changes to the view attributes are temporary and will revert to their original state when the file is closed. These changes can be permanently saved in the file by selecting Save Settings. Near the right side of the geometry displayed, locate this area. There are two sections of utility line that are missing. From View Attributes, go ahead now and disable Clip Volume. You can now see the geometry outside of the rectangular Clip Volume. Go ahead now and save settings. Press Escape. With the element selection as the active command, place the cursor over one of the utility line segments. Press and hold the right mouse button to open the context menu and pick Exchange. This opens the file xutil.dgn as the active design file. In the Home tab of the ribbon, observe the active attributes. The attributes need to be set correctly before creating new geometry. One of the easiest ways to do this is by matching an existing element that has the correct attributes. Attributes are accessed frequently in most design and review workflows. Providing access to frequently used set of tools can be a time-saving benefit. Next, we are going to set the active attributes. In the ribbon, place the cursor over attributes and press and hold the right mouse button to open the right-click menu. From the right-click menu, pick Pin to Current Workflow. This will make attributes always visible in this workflow regardless of the active ribbon tab. From the keyboard, hold down the Alt key and then pick the buried telephone line with a data point. Observe now the active attributes. This allows MicroStation to match the attributes of the element on the fly. Hint, this combination of Alt plus data can be done at any time, even if a command has already been started. Next, we are going to draw lines representing the buried telephone utility. Go ahead now and pick the Smart Line tool. Place a data point at this location, snapping to the end of the original utility line. Place a second data point at this location, again snapping to the end of the existing utility line. Press Reset. Observe that the line segment is terminated, but the Place Smart Line command remains active. Place a second line segment between this location and this location. Press the escape key now. The second line is completed and the smart line command terminated, returning to element selection. Take note, element selection is the default command in MicroStation. Enabling the setting escape exits command in user preferences makes it easy to return to this useful tool. During this lesson, you learned how to take control of the mouse by learning the basic mouse functions in MicroStation. These functions included the left mouse button, or data. This is used to provide input and select elements and commands, also known as entering a data point. The right mouse button, or reset. This will cancel or complete an operation. A right left button chord. This is known as a tentative. This is used to provide tentative snap points. A right button press and hold. This will access the context menu. View attributes were used to adjust the display of geometry in the view window and the right click context menu was used to exchange to a reference file for editing. Also covered was basic tool interaction using the three step rule of tool interaction and the importance of the tool settings window.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.